Hi, I'm Stuart from SFB Leadworks. Welcome to the next job. Let's go and have a look see what it's all about. Okay, so here we are. So I'm back on the job that I helped out a couple of videos ago when I um, cladded the dormer cheeks down there. And you can see someone's put some, some dormer tops on, on these two. But what they've done, they've welted it, which you're not supposed to do. I mean, you're okay, not too bad on a barrel, but if it's a low pitch or flat, you can't you can't use welts because what happens, especially this one, because it actually goes into a flat shelf, water just sits on that shelf, and it can that welt can easily be get get overwhelmed. So it needs to be wood roll. You can see on this other one that's been done as well. You can actually see the water that's still just sat in there by the welt. This one here. If you look here and just see see that all puddle in there well that's not going to take much to get up to the height of the welt and then and then that's in so these are no good so basically all of this has got to come off same with that one as well that's all got to come off it's no good um so what the builders have asked me to do is to is to put this right they want this one done first so they can drop this scaffold lift and they can get the five glassing and stuff done in that gutter down there. So what we're going to do is concentrate on getting this one done for this video. You can see there's quite a bit of water just, just laying in there, that flat well. I um, have done some already on this job with rolls the way it's supposed to be, you can see needs another oil but I've done this one so you get plenty of plenty of height there with the roll I mean yeah they do take a lot longer but it's it's the way it should be it's done properly so I think first thing I'm gonna do obviously we'll concentrate on the dormer top that they need doing first I get all this lead stripped off I'm hoping some of it will be able to be reused um, like these, these centre panels hopefully be able to be reused for this ridge because that ridge is still going to be there um, so we'll get it stripped off get, start getting some things set out get some wood rolls on there etc okay so that's all that lead all stripped off now was going to try to save this wood roll but I think I think for the sake of a bit of wood roll, I think I'll just change that as well because it's pretty millard. There's no point putting all new lead on and keeping that thing on there. So we'll take that off as well. I think some of these copper cleats should still work. Um, so I'll probably be able to get away with saving most of those. So I think next stage then we we'll take this centre ridge off. We we'll get all this swept off and we'll make sure there's no nails or screws that are sticking up anyway that could potentially puncture the lead and then we start setting out some wood rolls what i'll probably do is cut a small bit first and then go around the barrel or i might just try to do this in in one length with lots of little cuts out the back of the roll to see if i can get it to bend down there that would look better um i think i'll try, I'll try that first so we get this bit of wood off there, take that off, get it all swept off, straighten out these copper cleats and start setting out some wood rolls. Okay so as you can see we've got some, some new building paper on there now and I'm just setting out the wood rolls as well, putting all those on. So we're going to have one wood roll bang in the middle here for this shelf detail, which we will do first. And then we've got a centre, central ridge line, I've changed that, I had to anyway because the old one had a 45 on there which we don't want um, so I've changed that as well now I'm just in the process of setting out these bays and putting and putting these wood rolls on as well now this has got a bit of a curve to it it's not too not too bad just a bit, a bit. so what I've been doing is just cutting the back out of the roll to get it to curve you can see there I've, actually it's not too bad of a curve so I've just done these ones every 150 mil the first one I've done there I've done every 75 mil, but I think that was a bit over the top. I didn't really need to do that much. So I've spaced them out now. And when you take, when you cut the back out, 
it was just just mark where I want my withdrawal and it just just allows it to curve round that'll just curve round nicely and to, to get my space and what I've done is I've cut a piece of wood uh, which has just vanished I've got a piece of a piece of wood at 500 somewhere and basically I'll just put it not that one God. one of those <laughs> <laughs> that one there there we go <laughs> so to get to get my space in i've worked out you know my undercoat and my overcoat with what what we've said i've got i just literally put get a piece of wood cut to the right size and then i've just scribed it down all the way down that roll and that'll give me where my next wood roll is going to go so i'm just going to finish getting these wood rolls screwed on we we'll get this all swept off, then we can start getting some lead in place. Okay, so that's all those wood rolls fixed in place now. So we've got everything set out, ready to go. It's all been nicely swept off as well. So what we're gonna do now is get some lead on. Start with this shelf first. This is gonna be our first bay here. This one here, make this real, make this the undercloak. So I've just got this cut and knocked up over here. That's now ready to sit in. So we sit that in, weld that up, get the other side in, then we can look at some of these top bays. Okay, so that's that shelf all on there now. Let's boss that roll end over. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. What we're gonna do now is concentrate on getting these bays in. What we're gonna do is start with this one. Go this one, this one, and this one. Then we go that one, that one, and that one. So we're gonna go down now and get some bays cut up. Okay, so I'm just in the process now putting these putting these bays on. As you can see, I've got this one on there already. That's gone over quite nicely, to be honest with you. And I found the easiest way of doing this because it's not much of a curve. It's you know it's pretty. It is pretty flat. There's a slight curve to it, but it's, it's not too bad. So what I've done is one I've just knocked up, ready to go in. When you knock up your overcloak, just fold it halfway round the wood roll. And then when you sit that on, you'll find it pretty much goes to the curve. So I'm going to carry on now, getting all those bays through. Okay, so that's that, all that first side on there now. What I decided to do with this last bay, rather than cut and weld it, I've just bossed, just bossed that one in there. Uh, rather than cutting and weld it, I just thought that'd be easier. Because uh, to be honest with you, this bit of lead that they've given me isn't the best. So I thought I'd... Rather than try to weld that, I'll just I'll just boss that one just to make it easier for myself. Um, so that's that side all in there now. So what we're going to do now is just repeat the process and get this next side in as well too. Okay, so that's all those bays in now. Just bossed over all of those roll ends as well. So that's all them done now. So now they're all done. The next thing to do now, I'm going to trim up these splash laps. Just going to trim all these to 50 mil, and once they're all trimmed, then we can look at getting all the edges down and getting a bit of ridge through there as well. Okay, so that's all those splash laps all trimmed up now to 50 mil. So now I've done that, I'm going to concentrate now on getting these all these edges turned down. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I've got this piece of timber here, which is 75 mil. I'm just going to put it on the underside of that, dress that, and do that piece of timber. Just have to make sure I cut out the extra thicknesses under the laps there. Dress it back to this timber, fold the welt back on itself, and we'll dress it back against the moulding. So I'm going to get all these edges turned down now. Okay, so I've got all these sides ready to, to dress down now. So now when I put that piece of timber there, you can see it's just been folded to that to that whip or welt bent on it. So that's now ready to go to go down on both of these sides. This side. And this side as well but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave that there and i've just been concentrating on getting this central ridge through i'm almost there with it now just welded some clips on the bay um quite near to the edge of the lead there to give it some strength um so now that's on there just got to weld some gussets in on on these just make all these caps up so we're going to make all these caps up get all those welded in and then we can finish off that front edge Okay, so I've just finished welding in all of these gussets now. 
just welded in all these caps as well. So that's what those caps were welded in. Also just trimmed these clips to 50 mil. I'm gonna make sure I leave about a five mil gap on them for expansion. If you, if you bend it too tight and it's touching, when that lead expands and it contracts, it just pulls the clip out. So just make sure you leave like a five mil gap. So we get all these clips dressed down. Then we can just finish getting all this front edge turned down. Okay, so that's all that edge all turned down now. Turned down into the into the moulding. Just got a gusset at the back there to weld. Little corner there to weld. It's literally just finished welding that one there. That one's all done. So I'm just in the process now of welding that one in. So we get those gussets welded in. Then we can give it a clear off. Sweep it all off and give it an oil. And that will be job done. Okay, so that's all swept off and oiled now. So that is job done. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SLB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.